Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to realistically blend typography and shapes with the background in Photoshop. So this is the background that we're going to be working with and this is part of one of our wood texture packs. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use the type tool and just create some text. The color we're using is 621212. And the font that we're using is Veneer Italic. This isn't a free font, but you can really use any bold italic font for this tutorial. Next, I'm going to come over and choose the Rectangle tool and make sure that I have Shape selected up here. And then I'm going to press X to swap my background and foreground colors and create some rectangles. So I'm just going to make it about the same width as my text and about 15 pixels tall. So we'll move that into place and press Ctrl J to duplicate that and move it down to the bottom. And I'll just line those up. And next I'm going to duplicate my text by selecting it in the Layers panel and pressing Ctrl J. And I'll move that up to the top. And then I'll just change that text. So I'm going to make it say, Cool Effects in Just Minutes. And obviously you'll need to scale that down. And you want it to be basically the same width as everything else. Again, I'll press Ctrl J to duplicate that and move it down to the bottom. And that looks pretty good. So once everything is in place, I'm going to come over to my Layers panel and click the Create New Layer Group icon. And I'm going to name that Typography. And then I'm going to select all my typography and shapes and move that into the layer group. With that layer group selected, I'm going to click on one of these handles, or you could press Ctrl T to enter free transform mode. And what I'm going to do is rotate this until the lines of my italic text become vertical. You could also come up to the top and specify a value up here. So in our case, negative 7 degrees looks good, so I'll hit enter twice. Next, I'm going to double click my layer group in the layers panel, and that'll open the layer style dialog. And the only thing that we're going to change in here is within this blend if area. These sliders let you blend whatever layer you're working on based on the color of the current layer or the underlying layer. So I want to blend our text in based on the underlying layer, which is our texture. So I'm going to come over to this right slider here and drag that down until I start to see my text blend in. Next, I'm going to hold Alt and click this little slider, and you'll notice that it splits into two parts. Then I can drag the right side to the right, and that'll create a more gradual blending of my image. So I'm just going to hit OK. So you can see just those two sliders make a huge difference in blending our typography in with our background. Next, I'm going to change the blend mode of my layer group to Linear Burn, and then set the fill percent to 75 and that'll just make it blend in a little more realistically. Lastly, I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer, and I'm going to drag that curve down and to the right a bit, and sometimes if you have a layer group selected, your adjustment layers will get put into that group. So I'm going to press Control right bracket, and that'll bring my curves layer above all my other layers. Now I'm going to press B to use the brush tool and switch my color to black, and scale that up a bit, and I'm going to paint black in the center of my layer mask. That way, my Curves Adjustment layer only affects the outer edges of my image. And that's pretty much it. Depending on your background and the color of your text or shapes, you'll need to change the value of those sliders in the Blend If settings within the Layer Styles dialog. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.